Welcome to my Days of Our Lives official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. After concluding his peculiar bonding session with Marlena Evans, Atha Hattie Adams, Dieter Paul, Leo Stark left Gwen Ristick a lengthy, meandering message on Dr. Evans' peculiar behavior. According to the Days of Our Lives spoilers recap for Wednesday, August 14, Leo also met up with Sander Cook, who was anxious about perhaps missing the last boat to Smith Island for their honeymoon. Sander had updated Leo on his previous wedding. After a while, Sander managed to get Maggie Kyriakis on the phone and discovered that Sarah Horton Cook had never been to the mansion to search for the cabin key. Sander set out to find Sarah since he thought she could have had automobile issues. In the next episode of Wednesday's Days, Fiona Cook was shocked to see Sarah unconscious on the ground as she sprang out of the vehicle to find out who she had struck. Even after discovering a pulse, Fiona became terrified and uneasy about what to do. Fiona rushed back into the vehicle and drove off as soon as she heard Xander approaching. When Xander saw that Sarah was hurt, he panicked and went to her aid. After seeing the hit-and-run motorist driving away, Xander became enraged and called for an ambulance for Sarah. On Wednesday's D.O. All program, Fiona got back in the vehicle, pulled Brady Black's address off his driver's license, and parked in the garage. Fiona feigned stupid and hurried to the hospital after receiving a call from an upset Xander, leaving Brady unconscious in the car. Xander called Maggie when Sarah was in critical condition and gave Fiona a hug since he needed his mom at that moment. Fiona pretended that driving away after striking Sarah in that manner was the worst thing ever. Xander nodded and promised that once he found out who the driver was, he would rip him to pieces. On Wednesday's episode of Days, Leo was taken aback to run across Marlena at the bar wearing a new attire. Leo wondered why Marlena was behaving this way since she had no memory of munching or watching TV with him. Leo finally surmised that Marlena didn't want John Black to find out that she was hanging out with her patients, so he proposed that it be kept a secret. Leo's astonishment increased when he saw Hattie in her typical ostentatious satire on Wednesday's episode of Days, particularly after discovering that Marlena had an upstairs room. Leo came to the conclusion that Marlena could suffer from split personality disorder once he was by himself. Once again, Marlena and John saw that Brady had parked in her spot in the garage, but they entered without seeing him unconscious in the car. Returning to the hospital, Chad Demura, Billy Flynn, disclosed that Abigail Demura, Annalyn McCord, was the mystery lady, as her father, Jack Deverex, Matthew Ashford, was shown to be by the DNA test. Abigail begged Jack to back off as she was still unfamiliar with everyone in Salem, even though he came running for an embrace. Although Abigail was inclined to return to Poplar Bluff, Chad persuaded her to stay with him at home and startled her with information regarding the children. Chad brought Abigail back to the Dimera estate rather than the Horton residence because she didn't want to traumatize the kids or herself. Though Abby said she was having trouble understanding everything, she surmised Abigail was at home. When he got back to Jack, he contacted Jennifer Horton Deverex and shared the wonderful news that Abigail would be returning. According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Abigail will need some time to adjust to life in Salem. Stay tuned for more speculation on how she will handle the next changes. According to the spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Paul Narita withheld information concerning the near-death experience he had just before the wedding. But Marlena Evans voiced worries about Brady Black and whether or not he would start drinking again. Paul quickly left to locate his brother after reassuring Marlena that Brady had texted her the previous night about spending the night at the business. Brady had obviously lied to hide yet another drinking spree in Fiona Cook's room, so they continued to joke about and made sure their secret alcohol buddy arrangement would stay that way. On Friday's episode of Days, 
Sarah Horton persuaded Xander Cook to pay Fiona a visit while she was still in Salem from her home. Xander decided to try make things right since Sarah genuinely wanted Fiona to be at their wedding. Brady was pushed toward the bathroom and forced to flee out the window by Fiona as Xander arrived at her sweet store. When Paul saw Brady hobbling and sporting twigs in his hair, he confessed to have a twisted ankle and made up stories to hide his relapse. Even though Paul was obviously worried, he contacted Marlena and gave her further assurance. Reunited with Sarah for Friday's Dito All episode, she discussed Theresa Donovan accepting accountability for her misdeeds with Maggie Kiriakis. Maggie thought Theresa was really sorry, but she was still upset over the abduction. As they discussed Sarah's preparations for a second wedding and Xander's effort to mend his relationship with Fiona, Sarah gave Maggie a hopeful look. In Friday's episode of Days, Fiona was back in her chamber asking for forgiveness for the past and ultimately opening the door for Xander. Fiona said that by giving Sarah that sob tale, she wasn't attempting to clear her own name. Rather, she was trying to make Xander understand. Xander had doubts about Fiona's admission to the mental health facility and her claims to have turned her life around. But Fiona claimed it was real and she wanted to show to Xander that she was fully devoted to her sobriety today. Fiona looked to be pulling at Xander's heartstrings since she urged him to trust her and showed her affection. Unfortunately, Xander was stunned by something that happened to catch his attention nearby, so there may be evidence of some binge drinking. On Friday's episode of Days, Steve Johnson, Stephen Nichols, stunned Kayla Johnson by coming back without John Black, Drake Hodgson. Steve searched for John in Greece, but all he found was the message he wrote to Katharina in the grave. Steve used his ISR resources to examine it since it had blood on it, and the results showed that the blood belonged to John. Steve noted that John hadn't been seen at his hotel in a few days and expressed his suspicions of foul play. Steve then went to see Marlena and asked her to have a seat as he prepared to give her an update on some concerning information. Chad Dungura and Jack Deverex, Matthew Ashford, located the abandoned building they thought was in the video near Poplar Bluff. Chad heard a disturbance inside a closed door that Jack and he discovered, so he pushed it open. Chad and Jack seemed horrified when they saw what was inside. We'll bring you more guesses on the consequences of Jack and Chad's finding since spoilers for days of our lives indicate they'll have a lot on their plates. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.